The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. Now an opening past the 30. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Take it early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. From a pure talent standpoint, this guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. I mean, the powerful arm paired with a quick release, and he's as tough as they come. But in order for him to take that next step, he needs to put it all together on a more consistent basis. I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs here in this one because after hearing him talk throughout the week, I think he has his sights set pretty high. Hopkins sent in motion. On second down, left. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Great run after the catch in the open field. A pickup of 24. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process change the look change the coverages move your safeties make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand you could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground like there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball give credit to the defense great job they'll try again here second and ten from the gun it's Levis this throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. He'll come up to third and three. To throw is Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a conquo. They get 15 on that game. That's good for a Titan first down. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. First and 10, and they give it to Powell. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. He's tackled there by Quiddy Peck. A second down throw here for Levis. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he will get into the end zone. DeAndre Hopkins, touchdown Tennessee. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead.
7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Josh Downs now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Indianapolis led out by their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. The number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments, but injured most of the year. Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. We throw around so loosely these days, Mike, the idea of being a physical freak, right? This specimen that we just aren't accustomed to seeing, let alone at the quarterback position. The arm talent, the ridiculous blend of size and speed, the ability to make plays with your feet and extend. All of these things come to mind when we look at this guy. Now, going forward, how does he strike that balance between being the game changer and that aggressive athlete with the ball in his hand, but also finding a way to stay on the field and be able to develop? Make no mistake about it, though. The energy in this stadium is palpable, and he's the biggest reason why. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They'll work now on second and four. Here's Richardson. Open man. That's Alec Pierce. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting the third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. And when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. A gain of 11 on that one. That's good for a Colts first down. So you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early and that's exactly what they did. Give them 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He's got a receiver. That's Woods. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. On first and ten, here's Richardson. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Jonathan Taylor, the intended receiver. And it'll lead to a second and goal. 
But you just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Now we get whistles. Time has run out. The first quarter has come to an end. Richardson. It is brought in in the end zone. Michael Pittman. Touchdown, Colts. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Colts come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. Here comes a return from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins and the Titan offense getting ready to get back to work. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. He plunges forward for a couple of yards. Kenny Moore there to make the play. Look him up on a second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. That caught Tony Pollard. And he is very close to the first down, but uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. He doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch. They've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. And we're going to see what it looks like. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Colts offense ready for their second possession. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. It's Taylor. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. On second down, Richardson. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Richardson. 
That one into the hands of Downs. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Out of shotgun, Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Coming open is Pierce. It's on target. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? One complete to Pierce. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not... Even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. From the gun on third down, Richardson. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. We'll come back to Indianapolis after this. Matt Gay on now for the Colts field goal try. This will be a 41-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and 10. Levis. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it. Continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hands, and results in a completion. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. The 
The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Levis to throw it here on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Calvin Ridley was the intended receiver. It's second down. To the air, it's Levis. He'll look for Pollard out of the backfield. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. Throw to the sideline. Well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler understand the concept of the play understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do on first down levis to the left side in the hands of Bull. Here's a second and three forthcoming. To throw is Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. They'll throw here on third and short yard. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. The tight end Okonkwo is in motion. From the gun, it's Levis. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Calvin Ridley. Touchdown, Titans. Now, Folk, on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans are on top. It's 14 to 10. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. On the return, this is down. And they will finally track him down, but not before he takes this to the other side of midfield. The Colts offense is going to take over just before the half. They'll start from the plus side of midfield, looking to possibly take the lead here. It's first and ten. Now the Colts will use the first of their timeouts. 
as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in half number one. Second down throw for Richardson. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And you see these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to under pressure and down he goes they got him timeout indianapolis that is their second as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half Throwing on second down, Richardson. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. That is no good. He missed it. So we hit halftime, and the team heading to the visiting locker room. The Titans are on top, as we'll send you down to Orlando now for Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. On the return, this is down. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Colts offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. A trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. On first down, they'll start with Taylor. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. From the gun, Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A big play and a much-needed one as well. 31 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Off the zone read, this is Richardson. And out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. A gain there of 23 yards. First down, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson. I mean, it's not hard to see why they want to get the ball in his hands as often as possible, both as a passer, but when you can get him as a designed runner, his size and speed. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Chita Bayouzier. 
the Titans are going to get the football, and they'll have it just past the 20-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. you got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position. Instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. On the bootleg, it's Levis. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. taken down up at the 40-yard line. Pick up of 11 yards on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. They'll come up first and ten at the 40. Now Levis. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage and so far today he's certainly lived up to that reputation they'll come up here first and ten Little play action with Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That's a gain of 11. And they'll move the chains with another first down. Here's Levis. Is caught by the man wearing zero, Calvin Ridley. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. Out of the shotgun. Levis. And he'll take it on in. Tig Okonkwo. Touchdown, Tennessee. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. Folk now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans are out to a 
to 10 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, this is down. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Colts offense headed back to take over once more. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. He'll keep it. He'll be a little short of that first down. Tackled at about the 37-yard line. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. They'll try and run for this. It's Taylor. And this is going to be a coach first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first down, they'll stay with Taylor on the ground. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Now Richardson. And this one is caught by Pierce. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Richardson to throw here on first and ten. This one complete right side. And they'll take this down inside the 35. 13 yards on that pass play. First down, Indianapolis. They'll go play action. It's Richardson. Pass right side to Downs. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Out of a shotgun, Richardson. He'll get that one to Taylor, complete. And he's going to get awfully close to the first down marker, but appears just to be a few inches short. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they are indeed back within one score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, 
you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals, but in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Spears now to return it. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Another really nice throw right there, and as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. Levis to throw on first and 10. That is caught in his Hopkins. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. They get 11 and quickly pick up a first down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Levis. Throw over the middle. Brought in by Hopkins. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Tight end on the move left. They'll drop to throw. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. The Titans punching unit comes out to the field as they try to play the field position game here protecting a fourth quarter lead here's the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over once more the deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten throwing is Richardson and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments of the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. He'll take a deep shot for downs. And that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down so now after that last incompletion this brings up a critical third down but remember Mike they don't have to get it all here in one play they've got third and fourth down there's no punt there's no kick they've got to treat this like it's their final possession of the game and they've got two downs to extend this drive they had their lone touchdown of the game earlier and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. 
the anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Richardson to throw it here on first down. That's the tight end. He's going to be hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. And this is taken in by the defense. You know, Mike, with the importance being placed on yards after the catch, we're seeing more and more guys really emphasize turning into a runner as soon as possible. And, of course, it's a critical part of today's modern offense. But the part you have to remember, the yards are never more important than protecting the ball. So it needs to continue to be stressed. Yes, we want the big explosive play after the catch, but never at the expense of the ball. The Titans offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. We'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. Levis to throw here on first down. Quick throw taken in. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. second down here's Pollard and he's close to the first down gets four yards on the game but it will bring up third down they'll look to pick this up third and a yard He'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. And he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line with the official signal. He's got enough for the first down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Victory formation here. As he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Titans. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.